The 21st Panzer Division was a German armor division best known for its role in the battles in North Africa from 1941 to 1943 when it was one of the two armor divisions making up the German Africa Corps. By the time it reached Tunis, the 21st Panzer had ceased to exist as a cohesive unit and the remnants of the division surrendered in May of 1943. In France, the division was reorganized in June of 1943, where it remained in garrison duty until the Allied landings at Normandy. It was heavily engaged in the fighting at the beachheads, being the only panzer division to engage the Allies on the very first day. Due to the lack of combat equipment, the newly formed division received primarily old and captured French tanks, whose combat value was already negligible in the middle of 1943. About 2,000 veterans of the original 21st Panzer Division who were at home on leave or in different hospitals at the time of its surrender were included in the new division. General Edgar Feuchtinger became the commander of the division and Major Alfred Becker was assigned to command of the Sturmgeschützabteilung or Assault Gun Battalion 200. Alfred Becker was a German engineer and artillery officer who served during the First and Second World Wars. During the Second World War he took captured British and French vehicles, refurbished or rebuilt them to supply the German army with armored fighting vehicles. With his engineering and organizational skills, he converted the Hotchkiss plant on the outskirts of Paris into a vehicle modification center. He used the vehicles to mobilize German guns, rocket launchers and mortars. Working with the Alcat company, steel sheathing was shipped from Germany to armor these unique vehicles. The name of his battalion as part of the 21st Panzer Division was somewhat misleading as the Sturmgeschütz, which means a sword gun, was a specific type of combat equipment intended for direct support of attacking infantry. However, Becker's battalion was a combined unit that included self-propelled guns and tank destroyers. Already in the summer of 1943, Becker and his battalion organized the first maneuvers. In December of 1943, he received orders to move his battalion closer to the coast. Another important event that took place was the inspection by Field Marshal Erwin Rommel commander of the Army Group B in the spring of 1944. By that time, Becker's battalion had a total of five batteries, each consisting of four tank destroyers with 75mm guns and six 105mm self-propelled howitzers. They were probably all Hotchkiss chassis machines. On the 6th of June 1944, the Allied landings took place in Normandy. Because of the initial confusion, Becker's battalion did not join the fight until June of 9th, when it was providing fire support to the 125th Panzer Grande Regiment of East Perrin Division, the 21st Panzer. However, Becker's battalion won its greatest glory more than a month later and 200 kilometers to the northeast as part of the Allied operation Goodwood. At the time, Becker's unit 
was part of the so-called Kampfgruppe Luck, together with the 125th Panzergrenadier Regiment, a Panzer IV tank battalion, and several Tiger tanks from the 503rd Heavy Tank Battalion. Five batteries of Becker's battalion were deployed in the village and settlement east of Cannes, so that they could control the road leading from Cannes to the northeast from both sides. On the morning of July the 18th, Allied bombers began to bombard the entire area. Their raids lasted almost two hours. As soon as the explosions of the last bombs died down, shells from battleships near the coast started to fall around for a change and continued to fall for the next 30 minutes. When Becker again managed to establish radio contact with his battery commanders, he received the following report. All 10 self-propelled guns from the first battery were destroyed. The second battery suffered some losses, but remained fully operational. The remaining three batteries were not hit at all by Allied fire. After the fire preparation, tanks from the British 11th Armored Division moved forward. Once within range, the British found themselves under fire from the 3rd, 4th and 5th batteries of Becker's Sturmgeschütz battalion. Becker's men managed to destroy several British tanks from well camouflaged positions and hold their advance. His 2nd, 4th and 5th batteries subsequently moved to attack further approaching British units and again celebrated success. Together with the Luftwaffe's 88mm guns, the 200th Battalion managed to hold off the British advance for the rest of the morning until German reinforcements arrived. During the afternoon, the British attack was finally exhausted. The British ended up losing over 200 tanks in Operation Goodwood. Another significant combat deployment of Becker's battalion took place at the turn of July and August of 1944 as part of the British Operation Blue Coat. Sturmgeschütz Abteilung 200 was to take part in repulsing the British southeast of Sanlo. However, on the 1st of August, Major Becker was wounded by shrapnel from an artillery shell. However, this injury ultimately saved him, if not from death, then almost certainly from capture. The remnants of his battalion were surrounded in a pocket near Falaise about two weeks later. Becker retreated with the remaining remnants of the 21st Panzer Division to Belgium. He was forced to flee at the beginning of September and somehow ended up traveling to the east of France, where he was captured by the Allies in December of 1944. In total, Becker built or modified 1,800 different vehicles during its existence. Alfred Becker survived the war and returned to Germany. He died in 1981 at the age of 82. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.